Hi Twin Flames, it's Lacey here with Twin Flames Heart's Desire and today I wanted to talk with you about money and what in the world does money have to do with your Twin Flame journey? Well, I'll tell you, in order to be with your Twin Flame, you need to be able to support yourself. You might think like, well, that's really odd. That's what my family has been telling me all along and um, this is what I grew up hearing and I'm trying to get away from society and, you know, all of that um, talk about you know, supporting yourself and I want to do Oracle cards. Well, don't worry because even though we're out in the woods, ah, I got you angels of abundance right here. So we're going to do that out here. But, um, but what, what do I mean when I say that, uh, you need to support yourself. You need to build a foundation is what I mean. You and your twin flame are designed to be together. So if you're watching the YouTube videos out there of teachers who are saying like, Oh, they're coming into your life and then they're going to leave and they're just here to stir up trouble and then go or, oh, it's just too hard and only some twin flames get together. That's a lie. It's a bogus lie. There is no way that a loving God would put you here on earth with a twin flame and your feelings in your heart have this much power in them. And it's just not a loving thing to, to bring two souls one soul together. It's one, one soul with, um, the same soul blueprint, two different people. It, it's not loving. It, you know, in your heart that you keep watching these videos, like there's something out there. This means something, right? Like there's, there's a reason why I feel this way and I want to get to the bottom of it. You might be telling yourself, this is what happened with me in my journey. So the truth is, is that you and your twin flame are, you share the same soul blueprint and you're designed to be together. You're designed to be together and be stewards of humanity and serve the world together, serve God's earth together, right? There is no other person that can take the place of your twin flame in the physical body. You don't have anybody jumping in and out of bodies and um, your twin flame is that one person, right? You might have a, an experience where you have a false twin flame and I have videos on that. And my teachers, Jeff and Shalia have videos on that. But the truth is it's only ever been that one person and they're not dead. Um, you and your twin flame incarnate on this earth at the same time frame, basically the same time frame. Now I'm 14 years older than my twin flame. It doesn't mean that he's not my twin flame. It just means that you're on this earth at the same time when you're meant to be partnering together, right? You cannot separate from your twin flame in this 3D earth. That's why I'm out here in nature because it's it has everything to do with the three-dimensional earth, right? You can't separate from your twin flame in any sense. 3D, 5D, you're always going to be together. You might be experiencing separation from your twin flame where you're not together, you're not partnering together right now. They're maybe having a false partnership, a little bit confused. There's things that you can do to heal that, right? I have, I have videos about that. I'm going to link some of them up here. Um, it's called the mirror exercise and there's a system in place to heal that separation. But your goal isn't to just get next to your twin flame and have a relationship with them. Once you're in that relationship, there's things you got to do, right? You, you're going to build the world together. You're going to reconstruct earth together. And that's really, really, really important. And that's why I want to talk to you about your wealth, your money, and keep listening because I'm going to pull those cards and I'm going to show you how wealth has everything to do with your twin flame union and how it's incredibly sexy to your twin flame if you are on top of your wealth. You don't have to be a millionaire, but you have to be smart with money. And I know many of us have um, now taken to using credit cards and everything is like up in the internet now. Like you can check your bank account and see numbers there, but we're no longer passing coins back and forth to each other. But coins, using coins and paper money really helped people to stay on top of their money because it's a physical thing. Right now in our world, money has become so nebulous. It's become this pie in the sky, abstract thought. And that's why we're having so much trouble with it now. Um, depending on how you were raised and, and how you treat money, um, you, you may treat it differently. You may have, um, you know, experience with managing your money and really being a steward of your own wealth. But I'm here to say that I came 
from a place where I did not manage my money well. And my twin flame was like, I don't want to be around you. Right. And it's not about being rich and it's not about having a, a ton of money or it's not the dollar amount. It's how attractive it is for you to be on top of your money. And I have a special course coming up on Friday. It's called Financial Foundations. It's for twin flames. It's for everybody because everybody's a twin flame, right? Um, and you can attend. It's only $44. It's 90 minutes. And I'm going to talk about all of the ways that I use to heal my finances. So I was going from being in deep debt and not really having a handle on my money to now I'm generating wealth. I'm, I'm taking wealth that I make myself from my divine life purpose and I'm turning it into a sustainable income. Now this is going from the idea that you can uh, manifest abundance and create windfalls of money to I can manifest my abundance, but it's very firm and strong and secure. And I'm building it step by step by step with God, right? This is the foundation that you want. You don't want to depend on these miracle manifestations of money that yes, you can do that. You can, you can use the law of attraction and get a windfall of money, but that is not your spiritual foundation. If you look at this tree behind me, um, it's got roots in the ground, right? It's not going to topple over. It's, it's securely planted and that's what you want your twin flame union to be. So not only do you heal through all of these blocks that are separating you from love, that these fears and these things that your twin flame may be mirroring to you, but you need to work on yourself and your financial foundation. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you. Now, the card reading. All right. I'm going to step on them. I'm not going to drop them in the lake. What does the divine want us to know about our finances? Aha. Release jealousy. It says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. So if you're thinking to yourself, like, I don't have money, I don't have wealth. Like if you're thinking, I don't have money, I don't have wealth. Well, that's what you're going to get back, right? So let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So my teachers, Jeff and Julia, if you want to check them out on the website, they teach a class called Life Purpose Class, and they went from literal rags to riches. They lived in a ghetto. They had a Subaru, a really old Subaru, and um, they are now living in a very well-to-do neighborhood um, with uh, a Corvette and um, a Porsche Cayenne. So they, they're doing really, really well, and they, they have a systematic step-by-step process for you that I follow that I can teach you and I can guide you to joining their school life purpose class but my workshop is going to focus on um, really building that that energy that you need in order to sustain and manage your money so um, as I mentioned earlier I had credit card debt I wasn't so good at managing my money I felt like it was a big chore to look at my bank account or to balance my checkbook or you know, I wanted that thing and I felt, I, I felt the call in my heart to uh, take a cruise or go on a vacation. And I'm glad that I did, but I put it all on credit. And as I went, it, it's like credit becomes like this nebulous cloud of money that, well, it's coming from somewhere, you know, <laughs> and it's you, what you really need to do. If you really feel like you can't function without spending money on certain things, you need to think about, well, if I really need these things, instead of saying, no, I can't have those things, you, you need to think about, well, how can I make more money, right? So what I tried to do is I tried to deprive myself. I said, ah, I spent too much. I, I'll deprive myself. And I was miserable. So instead of thinking about depravity, think about earning more money. And Life Purpose Class can show you how. And I can give you a preview about Life Purpose Class in um, the workshop on Friday. We're still kind of like... Yeah, yeah, but what does this really have to do with Twin Flames? Well, I'll tell you, uh, my Twin Flame Josh and I were in separation for um, a while, right? We, we came together, we didn't know about Twin Flames, and we kept having all these fights and arguments, and then we, we separated, and we had a big fight and separated uh, a couple years ago. We're now living in harmonious union, but before that, um, 
I attended Twin Flame Ascension School. I had a coach. I'm now a coach and I can help you just like I was helped. Um, and I was able to heal things. Now, as Josh and I came back together, some of our conversations, some of our very first conversations were about partnering together over money. Um, one of us needed a hand getting out of uh, a financial situation that was really tricky. There was like no way out and no one was to blame for that situation. Um, and so we partnered together to help each other there and it, it required trust, but what it also required um, was for me to trust myself to be able to manage money. Now that we're living together, we live in an apartment and um, what we really want is we want to keep expanding because your union isn't supposed to stay put. Like a lot of you are, are like really um, feeling a lot of energy going into the twin flame journey right now and getting back together with your twin flame. Yeah, that's, that's the first step. But then once you're together, you build stuff. And I realized that um, I had a dead end job. It was well paying, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't going to grow my wealth. It was going to stay at the same income forever and ever and ever. And I was never going to grow my wealth. I was never going to be able to um, ascend from where I was. Like I was never going to be able to have a bigger house than I had, or we were never going to have a bigger apartment than what I had, what we had together. Um, so I just realized that I needed to find a way to grow my wealth and doing it, you know, with, with a dead end job where I may get a raise like every five years for like a thousand dollars wasn't the way. So what I did instead was I joined life purpose class and I learned how to follow my heart to make money. Following your heart to make money isn't like you're going to be floating like a leaf in the wind. Um, it means you, you really hunker down and you follow what your heart is guiding you to do. And you make that into a system that you manage, right? You don't just go willy nilly here and there. Um, what I do is I am a twin flame coach. I'm actually a master certified Ascension coach from twin flames universe. And I have a business. It's a business that I run that I spend a lot of time managing, right? I go through my accounts. I go through my clients. I have a list and I organize things. So a lot of money will come into your life when you learn how to manage it properly. When I started managing my money step by step, I started attracting more money and it wasn't like a huge windfall. It was just like, God was like, you're ready to have more money. When I did those things, Josh came closer to me. He started to make more money too at his job. You and your twin flame will perfectly mirror each other all the time. So this is a step-by-step -step process. It feels very grounded and sturdy and stable. And that's what you want. You don't want a windfall. I mean, it's nice, but you really want to feel proud of yourself. Okay, let's see what the next card is. Bountiful nature. Well, that's where we are. So it says, spending time in nature helps shift you into a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. I'm going to show you that picture. That's where we are right now. We're in nature. And it just, it, I want to remind you that as you go into nature, you can see that God provides for all of the, the animals and the trees and the plants, everything that they need. God provides for you everything that you need. And this is no different from earning your living according to what your divine life purpose is. There's plenty for you out there. And I can help you to really feel confident in taking your first steps to build your life the way that you want it. And if you'd like to book a free consultation with me, I offer those to talk about coaching. We can come up with a plan for you. Um, it's not a time for me to tell you who your twin flame is. Um, it's a time for you if you're serious about taking the next steps in your life and really doing this for yourself, which is also when I say you, I mean your entire union. You and your twin flame are one, right? So be thinking like that um, and really, really choose yourself, really choose to um, give to yourself and choose, choose to invest in yourself. And yeah, a lot of times you have to put a little bit of investment in money in or time in those are two currencies that you can invest with. 
but you get a huge result coming back to you. Um, I want to pull our last Angels of Abundance card. It looks like that one kind of wanted us to go. Like, okay. So God is telling us, detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Couldn't be more clear than that, right? When you choose to really kind of clean out all of your systems and really organize everything, some of your friendships will be organized and you might set some aside. You might put boundaries on others. You might invite other people closer to you. And so this is something that um, will be immensely attractive to your twin flame. Now, when I say attractive to your twin flame, you don't have to go to your twin flame and say, hey, look, I cleaned or Ooh, I made money or look, I balanced my checkbook. Actually, I, I did that. <laughs> I showed Josh. I was like, hey, look, I balanced my checkbook and I'm making all this money. And I, I know I was being really silly. It was just kind of a joke, but he he really cheered up like it really made him feel cheerful now the last secret that i'll tell you about twin flames and some of you are gonna like balk at this like <gasps> you're gonna be doing all the work you are gonna be doing all the work in your twin flame union you might be like turned you're like i'm ready to just pause this video let's go to some card reading some other tarot reader this lady's crazy no, it's actually a good thing. You're going to be doing all the work in your union because you and your twin flame are one, right? It will feel like you're doing all the work. It will feel like you're making all the money for your union, but you don't need to think about yourselves as two. You're one. And when you just take responsibility for your life and you don't wait for your twin flame, you don't wait for them to make money. Well, I'm making money over here and they're not making money yet. So I'm just going to wait until they're ready and then I'll then I'll start, really start like managing my money properly. No, act as if you're alone and do it yourself. You, you are just one with your twin flame, right? You, this idea that, that you're separate, that's what I'm speaking to. You're not separate. And expecting someone to do something that you can't do for yourself is never going to work, especially in your twin flame relationship. Because remember, you and your twin flame are one. There's a really good description of what that means in Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover by Jeff and Shalia. Um, it, in the very first chapter, it talks about what does it mean to have the same soul blueprint. So I hope that you can get that book and um, sign up for a free consultation with me and join me at my Financial Foundations Workshop where I'm going to go into more detail on how you can be extremely attractive to your Twin Flame and feel super confident in building and maintaining your own wealth permanently. See you soon. Bye-bye.